Hi everyone, this is Alan Smith, Market Development Manager for Summit International Flooring. Today we have the pleasure of bringing on David Newmark, our President, and our National Sales Director, Mark Becker, to discuss decorative rubber solutions for your home gyms. David, Mark. Hello and welcome to Summit Live Episode 3. We are coming to you from Summit International Headquarters in Whippany, New Jersey. My name is David Newmark. I am the president and sitting to my right is Mark Becker. Hello. Our director of national sales. And we have a special visitor today. We have our mascot, my boy, my love, Rocco with us. Rocco likes to be with me quite honestly and he followed me right into the studio and he's just gonna hang out today. I hope you don't mind. He'd be quiet, I'm sure. And he may be on my lap quite a bit. Anyway, I'd like to uh, uh, welcome you to our broadcast, our live stream. We are broadcasting because the world is a different place today than it was a number of months ago. And for the unforeseeable future, we're potentially going to be um, uh, broadcasting this way. Um, let me tell you a little bit about what our show is today. Our show is about rubber flooring, decorative rubber flooring. Now, the world basically uses carpeting and wood flooring mostly. Most what popular. Say? Yeah, definitely For most sure. popular. And what most people don't realize is that there are many, many other types of floor coverings. Today, we're going to speak about rubber floor coverings and where you can use rubber and why. Let's start about where. Rubber is used in hospitality environments, in educational, in retail, and, uh, and of course in your home. Most people think of it as, as a gym flooring, and it is. It's a great gym flooring, but there are many other uses. Why rubber? Well, rubber has great qualities. Qualities that in include safety, slip resistance, insulation, and something very important known as cleanability. I'm going to take this and, moment. And not to mention sound dampening. Oh, and sand dampening, of course. But let me tell you about cleaning. I'm going to show to you, I'm going to show the, you, the studio audience, why rubber is so cleanable. I have right now, Alan, if you would be able to follow me, please. I have next to me a piece of our triathlon 800 pearl color. It's as white as you're going to get rubber. I'm going to take freshly made hot coffee, black coffee, which I made five minutes ago, and I'm going to pour coffee directly on this unsealed rubber floor. I'm going to let it sit for just a moment. If this were carpeting, it would open up the dye sites and it would stain if, as you know, it would stain. It would stain. It would turn it brown, and many other floor coverings would would be damaged as well. So this is hot, hot coffee. Now I'm going to show you just how easy it is to clean rubber. Certainly in a home environment. I'm just going to shake that off. You could see the brown. I'm going to put a new fresh piece plastic up so I could spill some regular water in, clean water. Put that on it. Boy, without me even rubbing it, it kind of comes clean. But let me put a little water on this clean white rag. This is nothing more than tap water. Okay. I'm just, uh, and as wipe. Dave's doing that, I'll just explain again. This is unsealed rubber. We don't seal rubber because once you seal rubber, that seal will crack. And just like if you put acrylic on your fingernails, ladies, you can see that it it scuffs, it cracks, and the only way to keep that clean is to continue to reseal it. You don't want to have to continue to reseal your floor over and over and over again. So, our okay. rubber. Okay, so here's our rubber. I'm gonna hold it up to this camera if I would, if I could, please, so you can see that there is no evidence of coffee at all. It comes clean, it's 100% clean, and it's pretty much that easy to maintain our rubber flooring. Now. Having said that, there are different types of rubber available in the marketplace. Mark's going to take it from here and explain those to you. Well, you have many different kinds of rubber, as David said, but the two most popular types of rubber are SBR rubber 
and EPDM rubber. Those are just, those are the letters of the chemical names that make up the rubber. The names are long. The only person who can pronounce them is my pharmacist. Right. So we're going to stick with the basics. SBR is made from recycled car tires. SBR rubber comes with an odor associated with those car tires. Right. It will eventually dissipate, but for a while you're going to smell it. Correct. EPDM, colorful decorative rubber, does not have that odor. It's not institutional. You can make your home a beautiful, colorful floor with your favorite sports team's colors, with your favorite childhood colors. If you're doing a corporate gym, you could use your corporate logo colors. That's true. You can get creative, pretty, non-institutional product without odor, and that's what makes our EPDM rubber unique and different. And and as you said, there, there there's very few, very low VOCs with our EPDM rubber products. Um, you mentioned that the SBR does have some odor, and it does. The way to, that, that it off gases, the best way to, to vent it out is to have fans moving to circulate the air, and that will help dissipate uh, rubbery odors that much faster. So thank you for that, Mark. I'm going to now briefly tell you that our products come, most of our products come in tiles. These tiles are square cut, which get glued down, or interlocking, which interlock together without the use of adhesive. Why do you use that? When do you use an interlocking tile? An interlocking tile is used when you don't want to put glue on a floor, let's say you have a beautiful uh, a wood floor that you don't want to spread adhesive on, that would be a perfect time to use the interlock tile. Or if you have a, a, a stone or a ceramic floor, you don't want to glue that because you could really damage um, uh, long term. So I'm going to show you quite how large the square cut tiles are with Mark's help. Alan, if you would. This is a typical sized tile of ours. It's 38 inches by 38 inches. They're big. They're big. They're square cut. And the fact that they're so large actually is best for the maintenance of your uh, flooring because there's less seams. Let's put that one back down. Watch the wire this time. Okay. So we have square cut for glue down, interlocking when it's not to be. And tiles, just so you know, are such a convenience if you should happen to damage the floor somehow, s drag something that has a sharp edge. Could, it could be the bottom of a weight bench with a broken foot. It could, could be, be the bottom of a chair with a broken foot. That's right, and that's only a gym. It could be, right, if it's in an office environment, you could have a wheel that's stuck and you would drag it across and it, sh and it would shred anything. And if you have roll goods, you have to remove furniture, office equipment, gym equipment. It becomes a hassle and it can become expensive. If you're using tiles, no question. you just no pop question. in a new tile. Okay, so now that we know that we have basically two different types, a square cut and an interlock. What did Summit International Flooring seek to do? We seek to find different products, products that are unique. So we, the very first introduction in our rubber flooring, which is great for gyms and also many other types of insta uh, installations, whether they're commercial or residential, is our Triathlon 800 solid colors. These are 24 solid colors that we let me show you on, on a couple larger pieces. These are the building blocks to make other products. But Triathlon 800 by itself could be done in patterns. You could do, you can do um, uh, checkerboards. You could do borders. You could do logos, as Mark said. If you wanted to write your name and have your, your signature replicated, on a floor, if you're that vain, you could or, do it. or you want it, you can do that. You yeah, can we've do often that. done sports logos. We could do corporate logos. It's true. Maybe if you, you want to take a picture you want... of your of your pooch, we could do that. And you have him on your floor. The other thing is, when we water jet cuts to make logos, we can water jet cuts to make shapes. You can have tiles, or you can have planks. Planks are so popular today. So. Our original product was Triathlon 800 Solid Colors, and what did we do from there? We decided to take the little chips, and for instance, we took these colors, orange, black, and yellow, to make up 
this particular color. These are the building blocks for this particular color. All right, so we came out, our next line was called Kaleidoscope, and it's just like it sounds. It's many colors that make up another color, and these are great for soil hiding purposes, great for scuff resistance, great for many things, and it hides seams very well. Solid colors they don't hide seams quite as well. They show everything. Of course just they like do. Just like if you wear a white shirt, something falls on your shirt, it's going to show. Exactly. As if, for instance, coffee. You drop white, uh, you drop coffee on yeah. uh, on your shirt, you'll know it. You Kaleidoscope drop it. is very forgiving. It'll hide scuff marks, it'll hide spills. Yes, it will. Okay, so now you've learned about Triathlon 800 and Kaleidoscope. What was next? Earth. Earth is, if you would, please, Mark. Earth is the solid color triathlon that we added some cork chips to for no other reason other than its, its appearance. Very different. You've got that. You can see that. Now, the thing about it is from a distance it, that you don't see the cork. So we kind of like realize that it's, it's really more of a residential look and feel to it because it's more solid. Yeah. But after the earth, we came prism the colored version of the very same thing. And we have many, many colors. Here's four of them, a red, blue, teal, and a purple. Shows but, you how sharp we are. Earth for earth tones, prism for colors. We are geniuses. <laughs> we, we continue to be geniuses every moment. Okay, so what was next? Well, people, people like the solid colors. Triathlon has always been what people gravitate to. People, mm -hmm. people do like the solid colors, but again, it comes back to maintenance. So. So what was next? So we take triathlon and we come up with a product called Opulence. Opulence uses the same colors as triathlon, but adds, adds a little bit of black flecking. It's only a little bit, it's only 5%. But when we show this and people look at it from arm's length, like we're looking at it now, mm -hmm. it does look like a lot of black. It however, does. However, the, the way to look at a floor is you put put, the, out, put a you, sample on the floor and step back because that is really what your eye is going to see. Yeah, and what happens with opulence is once it's on the floor and there's equipment and furniture on top of it, your eye scans the space and you mm -hmm. really see the field color is what you pick up. Absolutely. So the black spots really go a long way towards hiding that scuffing, making the maintenance, making allowing you to do maintenance a little less often. There's no question. So opulence has been, it's one of our newer products, um, but uh, it, it's something that we use quite a bit now. Moving on, one of the best new products anywhere ever is something that I'm proud of because I sort of had something to do with creating it. It's called Rubberazzo. And Rubberazzo, and Mark will show you the, the book, the, the sample, the colors. Rubberazzo is a rubber tile made to look exactly like terrazzo. And these are, in, in Mark's, we, we have 16 standard colors, but you're able to make any color you want. On the back here, we have a pamphlet that gives you some more ideas of the colors that you can make. But let me tell you about this, this program and pretty much all of our program. It's customizable. If you want to customize your rubberazzo, and let's just say you're very patriotic or in a patriotic mood and you want red as your field and white and blue speckles, you can have red, white, and blue. You can make it up anything you want. Uh, if you have corporate colors, you can use that. We have a, a product called, on our website, Color Conductor, and Mark, tell us what that is. Well, the Color Conductor is a tool. We have 38 colors of this collection, and. 30 something colors of that collection but if you don't quite find exactly what you want you go on our website you go on the color conductor and it looks like a piano keyboard very user friendly mm -hmm. the piano keys are numbered one two three and you're basically just following across those steps one two three doing what the computer asks you to do and you're combining different colors different size chunks of colors you're creating a really unique look to be the aesthetic and the colors of your choice so even though we offer a lot we're not limited. We're actually completely unlimited in what you want to design. That's excellent to know. It's excellent for the designer and architect and end user to know because we are a niche company. We are a higher end, higher quality company, and we understand the needs of you and your clients. So, well, that's, this is the thing. Recycled rubber that smells like tires for a while, 
It's a dime a dozen. You can get it from lots of different places. What you don't get from lots of different places is pretty and decorative. That doesn't necessarily mean it's the most inexpensive product. It's affordable. It will fit many, many budgets, and we can do many, many thicknesses to reach those budgets. But it's different. It's not what you find from everybody else in the rubber business. No question about it. Now, one thing, Dave, that people should know about the samples is that they're four millimeters thick. Samples are always four millimeters thick. They're just for color. Why do we do that? Well, we send out an awful lot of samples, so we do it sure for budget do. reasons for sure. When you're doing a project and it's an office, it's an upper education, something like that, four or five millimeters is fine. When you're doing a fitness area, you need a minimum of eight millimeters, which would just be two samples together to give people an idea. The thickness of two samples together, correct. If you need a different thickness, be it for sound dampening, be it to butt up to an adjacent floor, we can, we can work with people. We can make these tiles in different thicknesses. And we're going to talk about that in just a minute, but there's one more product I want to mention that we haven't yet that's really geared for the fitness world as well as multi-purpose. Any, it's a multi-purpose product. We listened to, to our designer friends and they said, well, do you have a wood look? It always comes back these days to wood. Yeah, because wood, you know, people like the look of wood, even though it's not necessarily the right um, product to specify and to use in a gym or in other areas because it indents under, under high heels, under certain furniture, it, it can, will it leave can, a mark. That, and it can be loud, and it can be slippery. So here is Durawood. Let me introduce Durawood to you. Um, where are we, Alan? We are over here. Okay, so here is Durawood. This is just two colors of Durawood, but it's available in many colors. This is our Durawood and Duracreep book. These are the, this is the color palette. And again, we offer it in Durawood and two colors of concrete that we are so aptly named Duracreep. The reason we came out with Duracreep is because for a while, there has been a design trend, we'll call it, to, to take, maybe it was for budget purposes, I'm really not sure what, because I never really liked the concept. The concept was to take existing concrete and just buff them up and polish them. And it's really cool looking initially. When you walk on it, the problem with polished concrete is first of all, it's loud and it echoes, you hear everything. And another thing, if someone should drop something, spill something, and you slide and fall on it. Very slippery. It's very and slippery, and you're gonna hurt yourself. You're falling on concrete. It's unforgiving, it's not soft. And you know, if you're in a retail environment where you're standing all day, you're not, your back will bother you, your employees' backs will bother them if they're standing on concrete all day. Right, so we came up with Durawood simply to alleviate that issue of, P of designers just specifying concrete. I, I, I never really quite understood it, but here's, this is our answer, and it's actually become one of our best sellers. Mark mentioned before that you can make your rubber product as thick as you want, and you can. We, have, we offer a, a very unique backing. We have a product called Two Step. What that means is that you can take our finished product, and in this case, this is our prism, prism, which is four millimeters thick, and then attach it at the factory to SBR rubber, and you can make this any thickness. Between the two, you can make these, if I'm not mistaken, as thick as 32 millimeters, which is over an inch thick, which is more than anybody would ever really need, but I understand why it's done sometimes. Sometimes you have to butt up to an adjacent area, Yep. and you have to build up. So what you do is you put a thick SBR backing because it's less expensive, and then, and then you, you put a, uh, a finish. Well, that's the key. It's less expensive. EPDM rubber, as I mentioned, it is more expensive than recycled rubber. So you put a thinner layer of recycled rubber, I mean a, a thinner layer of EPDM rubber on top of the recycled rubber. This is not put down in two parts. It's not a two-step installation. You don't need twice the labor. You don't need twice the adhesive. It goes down as one tile, and when it's down, all that's visible is the pretty decorative top layer. Now, if you need more sound dampening, maybe you're working with an acoustician, mm -hmm. maybe there's a purpose for having a floor that's thicker than a little over an inch, maybe you need two inches for some reason. Well, there are various underlayments you can put beneath the rubber and beneath the durawood. 
Underlayments come in different Here we go. qualities. This is a 5, a 10, and a 15 right there. Underlayment can be dense. Underlayment can be soft. The softer the underlayment, the more sound dampening you're going to get. But maybe you're worried about tiles popping open. Maybe you're worried about protecting your subfloor because you're a heavy weight lifter and you don't want to drop a dumbbell and crack your concrete floor. Mm -hmm. So, Let me tell you something else. If the floor is too soft and has too much give to it, then the treadmills and all the equipment that's on it, that's going to shift and move, making it a very dangerous situation if someone's on it. And it's probably not doing any wonders for the calibration of the equipment. Because if the equipment's moving, you're, 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 you're taking the balance away from it. So if you're a designer and you're coming to Summit for assistance, you don't have to be an expert in all of the reasons why you would consider underlayments or what thickness or two-step. All you need to do is tell us a little bit about your project. Once we know what somebody's looking for, what kind of space it is, whether it's office, whether it's gym, what's really going on in the space, we can recommend and suggest. And when we know the budget, we can help you decide if and when you should consider underlayments. You don't have to be the experts. We're here for that. Excuse me, Mark, but Alan is waving to me. He has a question that... Yes, uh, we have a question, and that is, can you use a rubber outdoors? Okay, I'm not sure if you were able to hear Alan. Alan's our director today. The question is, can you use our rubber products outdoors? And the, the simple answer is, yes, you can, but with caution. And we don't warrant it, and here's the reason. These are interior products, and they're smooth. They're meant to be installed indoors. But if push came to shove and you absolutely want to do a small area outside, you would need to install the rubber on a slight pitch. Yep. Why? Just like a roof, so that when the water hits it, it runs off. When the snow hits it, it melts and runs off. And if it's outdoors, you must expect the product to eventually fade. Now, we have a product called Summit UV Protection, and what that is is exactly what it sounds like. It protects against all it, uh, ultraviolet rays. If you're installing this outdoors, you're going to have to use it readily and cover every inch of it, on top, on the side, at the seams, everywhere. Well, eventually the sun will fade anything. That's true. But UV Shield will give you uh, much more protection and have that bright, vibrant color last longer. You know, we get this question often, and, and we really have different products that we will speak about in the future that are made for outdoors, not just rubber, but other products that can be used That's outdoors. That's an excellent point. We're talking about interior rubber today, interior decorative products. If, if there's a project that someone has out there and they want to talk to us about outdoor, we can help them with outdoor. We'll help you. We'll find you what you're looking for. Give us a call. Tell us about your project, just like with any other project. We're focused today on interior products, but we'll, we'll work with the designer with whatever they need. One more question. Another question. Can you use a rubber product on a wall? The next question is, can you use a rubber, uh, can you use rubber on a wall? And I'll let Mark answer that. In a commercial environment, you can go up to a chair rail height with any product that you want to. Once you get over chair rail height, you need ASTM testing. Our products, being that we're a primarily a flooring company, we have not tested for vertical use. The rubber is likely to fail between the rubber and the adhesive. So residentially, you can do what you want. Commercially, chair rail height, or what some architects have told me that they do is they'll actually take the four millimeter product and they'll glue that to a piece of MDF board right. and then Z-clip that to a wall. It's kind of like hanging a picture. The rubber's not a fixture on the wall. It's right. just hung there, and you can do that. That's... So the answer is always yes, or maybe let us figure out how to say yes. Yeah, and, and we're pretty good at figuring out answers. We'll always give you the truth, whether you like it or not, but we're pretty good at getting answers. And speaking of the truth, the one other thing designers really need to know when they're working with our product is these are not on the shelf. We cut them to thicknesses for the project. Every time somebody wants to order our rubber, we're doing it as a, almost you could think of it as custom, even though we have uh, concrete lines that are concrete, Duracrete, even though we have lines that are standard, we're making these products project by project. You should, the designer should expect about a four to five week lead time. So please plan appropriately for that. Absolutely, these are not standard running lines. Uh, they are standard running lines, but they're not sitting there. Still made to order. Yeah, because somebody may want this in eight millimeters, somebody may want it in nine, and then of course they have 
they need 2,000 square feet and there's only 1,000 feet in stock and we don't want to have multiple dye lots. So, so everything is made to order and everything is about four to five weeks, like you said. So pretty much that sums up today uh, about rubber. One thing for sure is you could always reach us, ask us questions anytime. You can reach us at info at summit-flooring.com or call us toll free at 1-877-496-3566. We're always open to questions. If you have a subject you'd like us to, to um, speak about in, in the future weeks, we will do that. We will have some, uh, some guests join us too, maybe some architects that you know, or some designers, or certain things up, up our sleeves for that. You know, the questions are so meaningful, and this is why we're doing this. People have asked us over and over again, why don't you just put a polished presentation together, put it up on the internet where we can see it. Well, the truth is, we're doing this for a reason. The reason is, when we work with you, we're excited. We found products that you haven't seen before, products that get us excited. Then we get excited to talk to you about it. We hear your feedback. We come up with better and better things through those interactions. One thing that COVID has done to us is, it stopped us from having those interactions. Sure, we could put lots of video clips on the website. If you look on our YouTube channel, you'll see them there. If you look on our product presentation page on our website, you'll see one and two minute clips of lots of different products. We're adding more and more weekly. But this format during COVID is the best that we can do to, to be with you, just not in front of you. So ask us your questions. Take a look at us when we're live as opposed to the replay. Let's continue to work together at Summit. And I know Dave means this from his heart, as do I, as does everyone who works at our company. We're, we're really, like they say, we're in this together. We love the business, we love working with you, and we're live because it's the next best thing to being with you. It gives you also a chance to reach us during the show as, as you, you did already with two questions. We're, we welcome that, it becomes interactive, we do like that. Now next week, same time, same place, 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. We're gonna speak about turf. And not just any turf, not just green turf, not just the kind of turf that you see at miniature golf courses, but Summit International Flooring Turf. And Mark is going gonna, is gonna to lead that conversation. I may join. As Rocco people. may join. Rocco is here. He kind of likes to hang. And by the way, being live allows you to meet Rocco because I couldn't take him with me on, uh, on any real appointment. Well, as people know, Summit looks for things that are unique and different. Don't expect the same old turf you see everywhere else next week. Thank you, Mark. Thank, Thank you, Alan Smith, our director du jour. We look forward to seeing you again same time next week. Thank you very much. And all of you, please stay safe and have a great day. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you.